overclock all the phones. What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you the Elemental X custom kernel for the HTC One. Now this is available for all devices, so just go ahead on over to the link in the description and it will take you to this web page right here. So what you're going to want to do is just download the Elemental X M7. Now this is on version 0.4, but it may be at a newer version as of this video that you're watching. So always make sure to get the latest. Now here are the features of this ROM, but what I want to cover the most is the sweep to wake, sweep to sleep on the lock screen, and it transforms the HTC logo into a menu button. So basically what this does is if you tap the menu button, or the HTC logo, my bad, it transforms it into a physical menu button. So now you actually have back, home, and menu. Now, the tricky part about this is you can't tap directly on the HTC logo. It just does not work that way. So if I bring this in a little bit closer for you guys, you see if I tap directly on it, it doesn't do anything. You gotta tap a little bit above that. Now, it depends on how you tap this, if it works just right. It's kind of hit or miss, but it's still a pretty neat feature. So the next feature of this ROM is the sweep to wake. So basically what you're going to want to do is put your finger on the back button and sweep over to the home button. And if you want to lock the screen, just put your finger on the home button and swipe over to the back button. Now it works interchangeably. So that's also a pretty neat feature. Go ahead and unlock the device. And of course with custom kernels comes overclocking and underclocking. Now if you go into an app like SetPew, you notice that my phone is clocked at 2.1 GHz on the performance governor. Now I have been running my phone like this for about 4 hours with no issues whatsoever. The phone does get a little hot if you're gaming, but that's normal actually, it does that anyways. If you overclock your phone before testing it, and you check the set on boot, and your phone keeps on boot looping or bricks, don't come complaining to me, that's your own fault. You never click to set on boot until you know that your phone can handle it. So like my phone can handle 2.1 GHz with no issues. It still flies, it's perfectly fine. But if you're, you know, you want to test it out before you actually use it. So if I go to an app like Quadrant, I don't really run Quadrant tests that much. So there's a little close up for you guys. I got 15.130 on Quadrant. And let's go ahead and run the test again. So if we go to run full benchmark, you see that it takes no time at all to basically do this. I have a drink about 59, 61 frames per second, 63, 64. So it's averaging about 60 frames per second, which is normal. Going to the planet, 61 frames per second. Going to the DNA, and it's averaging averaging around 45 seconds, and we're gonna hit yes. So my device scored 15085. So that's amazing, 15,000 on quadrant. That blows the Galaxy S4 out of the water, even though it is overclocked to 1.9 gigahertz on stock. There are a lot of tweaks and you know performance enhancements. Like MHL, a less lag, you know, tweak, which I can't test that because the MHL adapter that I have is only for Samsung devices. If you guys have any more questions about this kernel, the battery life has been really good. I've been at 2.1 gigahertz for four hours, still at 57%, and I've been using my device a lot. Take that with a grain of salt. Battery life on this kernel is pretty great. But if you guys have any more questions, just leave a comment below and I will answer them as soon as possible. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more videos on the HTC One with custom kernels, mods, anything of the sort, just go ahead and let me know and I will try to get to that as soon as possible.